So good to see you virtually. I know. It's as good as we're going to get right now, and I'll take it. <laughs> now, Jesse, we have um, a segment on the show that's very near and dear to my heart. It's called Cookbook Club because I'm an avid cookbook collector, and I heard you are too. Yes, that's actually how Julie and I bonded. We both are massive cookbook collectors. Um, I have shelves and shelves of them. And it's, it's always been my dream to have a cookbook of my own. So this has been really exciting for, for me to actually see this through. And Julie, is it true that you guys met at a dinner party you may or may not have been going to, but kind of went to and then... It's true. We did not want to go. Uh, we both positioned ourselves by the exit sign. <laughs> and no one was going to sit by the celebrity. So I had to take the seat. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys became best friends and collaborators. I know. I know. The, the dinner party actually worked. It was called the Spring Street Social Society. And it was meant to, like, you know, encourage people to, to meet new people. And I was just not in the mood, but then look what happened. So they actually did their job um, to my chagrin. I mean, it really, it's funny. Those kind of moments can change your life. Um, there was a party I didn't want to go to and my best friend dragged me to it. Like I really didn't want to go. And I met um, my kid's father and we ended up having two children. So it's true. Sometimes going out, even when not in the mood, can change your life. And like, what was the initial conversation? How did you go from guests, hesitant guests at a dinner party to true best friends, collaborators, and making a baby of your own, if you will? <laughs> I mean, I, well, how, I feel like Julie really charmed me because she, I, I was asking her, you know, what do you do for a living? And she, um, you know, she's talking about being a, re a recipe developer and she's, uh, you know, gone to culinary school. But then she said, and what do you do? And I was like, oh gosh, she, she's, she's never watched Modern Family. She has no idea that I'm an actor. This is great. Like I'm meeting someone with to the purest of intentions. And she later told me that she was lying. She knew exactly who I was. So. <laughs> Deception. I played it cool. I played it cool. Um, is there anything more wonderful beyond our children than food and friendship? Yes, I mean, I, I, I love my, I'm a new dad. I love my son. I read him. I actually read him my cookbook because I, I realized <laughs> you can read anything in a children, if you read anything in a storybook way, like they, they're just a trance. They, it doesn't matter what you read. You can read a West Elm catalog. So I, I read him my cookbook. One of my daughter's favorite books to read is a cake cookbook. So I'm with you, Jesse. Both of our kids love cookbooks uh, to read. And I have to say, they're going to have to pry this out of my hands. But what was the catalyst for the book? I mean, I am drooling over the recipes in this book. How did you guys bring your culinary loves and like geographical backgrounds to create what is in the cookbook? It was, um, that's exactly what it is. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I love meeting new people and learning about the food that they grew up eating. Um, I, you know, introduced Julie to hatch green chilies and the stuff that I loved eating in, in New Mexico. And she introduced me to sorghum syrup. And, you know, Julie puts butter in everything. Like she has such a deep love of butter, which I'm, I sort of have like a love hate relationship with it. And I'm learning to love it even more. I mean, that's not true. I just, I, I'm, I tell myself that I shouldn't love butter as you much as I do. You love it. <laughs> I know, it's true. But I think you guys bringing your, like, geographical backgrounds together is what makes for such compelling recipes. Is this how you guys eat in your life? Like, I mean... Yes, right? Uh, I do. <laughs> I, mean, I actually, I'm, I'm making the, the molasses pork chops tonight for dinner, Julie. I'm going to dive into that recipe tonight. So we cook from this book all the time. I mean, Justin and I have recipes that are in, in deep rotation. Um, and a lot of the ones that we actually go to are the ones that, that Julie wrote for the book because they're, they're new to me. They're, they, they still feel really fresh. So, I mean, they're all, oh, look at Justin with his chicken look finger. By the way, your <laughs> husband is just so lovely and... It's so nice because I do think the kitchen, you know, honestly is like the new bedroom, if you will. It's like the most bonding, romantic, beautiful room in the house. It's sort of where we display 
our love and enthusiasm and passion for life. And I have to say, this is the cookbook you want to eat out of. It's just incredible. Thank you so much, Drew. Thank you. Thank you.